Hello everyone and thanks for joining me for this special announcement. You know, this is August the 1st, which means that it is book launch day. Now I finally, after many late nights and countless edits and a ton of other odds and ends that went into uh, creating this book, Dream Warrior is available for purchase. So let's have a look at the trailer real fast. Then I want to come back on here and give you guys some additional information. Check this out. It is out, guys, and it is available on Amazon in both ebook and paperback. So, uh, guys, Dream Warrior has been a long time coming, and I'm glad to finally have a copy in my hands. And I hope that many of you will have a copy in your hands before long as well. Um, this is my debut book in the fiction genre, and it is a novella. So it is a it's just under 200 pages and it's pretty fast paced in an attempt to draw you into the story because this is the gateway to a trilogy that I have coming out next year or the first book is coming out next year and those are going to be full length novels so it's going to be a much larger world for you to explore this is the way to get started and this is also a great way to support me and what I do with my books as well as here on YouTube. Um, I've got a link for this down in the description of the video. If you will click that link, guys, this is launch week. This is launch day. If you will click that link and purchase a copy of this, um, my goal is to sell as many copies of the book today and for the rest of this week as I possibly can. I'm trying to get into that top 25 rank on Amazon bestseller list. They will give me the best seller badge if that happens, which will be a wonderful way for me to be able to promote and market the trilogy next year. So guys, again, the link is in the description of this video. Please consider supporting me by grabbing a copy of this book. And as a thank you for hanging out with me this long, I'm going to play the first chapter of this book for anyone who missed it a while back. And uh, maybe that'll be the hook that you need to pull you in and grab a copy. And uh, if you're not a reader yourself, chances are you know someone who is. And uh, guys, books make great gifts. I do appreciate your support. Thanks for hanging out with me this long. Um, I'm going to play that video for you now. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Oppressive mists swirled on every side, making it impossible to see more than a couple of feet in front of her. She could feel the warmth of a bright light shining on her back in stark contrast to the cold void of darkness drawing her forward. The compulsion to walk into the darkness was strong, yet she stayed where she was to keep the cold at bay. The warmth was nice after all, why not soak in it before venturing forward? One step forward was as far as she travelled before a soft, almost inaudible voice called to her. It sounded as if it was coming from the source of the light, and the message was simple. Don't go that way. Turn toward me and follow my voice. She paused and made a half turn in the direction of the voice. It was blinding in her peripheral vision, but felt so good. She raised her hand to shield her eyes and began to turn her body toward the light. That's when the other voice spoke to her from the darkness. She froze. You're going to listen to that old fool? You really desire the darkness. It fascinates you, thrills you. Come to me and let me show you all that you desire. This voice was louder, bold and smooth, yet there was a bite to the words. Alarm bells rang in her head, but the desire was so strong to follow the last voice that she was ready to brave the cold. 
The light slowly faded as she took her first steps toward the darkness. The vestiges of the words, don't go that way, clung to her memory even as the cold washed over her, numbing her senses. She stopped walking. The acrid taste of fear on her tongue grew so strong that she thought she would be sick. She spun around to make her way back to the light and the warmth it promised, but was met with a twisted iron gate blocking her path. She grabbed the cold black metal and pulled herself closer. The once warm and bright light was now a pinprick in the distance. However, she thought she could still hear the soft voice calling to her, follow my voice. But it was so hard to hear and she was so cold that it was becoming difficult to move at all. How can I follow your voice with the gate blocking my path? The words were difficult to get out. They were thick in her mouth and stuck to her tongue. She wasn't sure if she could even be heard or if she had spoken at all. Something was wrong. The darkness behind her grew even darker as she felt a presence approaching her. She felt small in comparison to the immense shadow that was passing over her as this unseen stalker grew closer. The cold was increasing. Breathing became difficult as the air felt like it was freezing in her lungs. All she could do was reach through the gate and stretch her hand toward the light. Icy fingers wrapped around her other arm and she was jerked away from the gate with a violence she had never felt before. Pain shot through her arm as the bone became dislocated from the socket. She didn't have the breath to cry out in pain, so the pain was released in silent tears staining her face. The grip on her arm grew impossibly tight, and the bold, smooth voice from before began speaking to her again. This time was different though. This time it made her skin crawl with fear rather than thrill. It took on a tone of harshness and sounded like many voices speaking at once. The voice had become a chorus of horror. You fool. You could have turned away and never entered this abyss of damnation. The choice was yours alone. You chose me. And now, you're mine. She was being spun around to face the owner of the horrific voice. Out of sheer terror, she forced her eyes shut from fear of what she would see. She knew this was the end. She just didn't want to see it.